We've all seen footage of the absolute carnage Mother Nature is capable of inflicting. Cities are often left in ruins and people and animals for miles around suffer in the aftermath of devastating storms. Before Hurricane Dorian basically took the Bahamas off the map, it battered America's east coast and it seemed like everyone who lived nearby suffered immense consequences. However, as one group of farmers learned once the storm passed, luck was on the side of a fortunate few. Ah, the island life. We've all pictured laying out under the warm sun with no neighbors in sight on an exotic piece of land soaking in good vibes and positive energy. And when it does come time to mingle with other island folk and get the party started, there's nothing better than kicking back cocktails with a panoramic view of the ocean. But we also share a fear of the islands. Finding ourselves stranded on a deserted island would be one of the worst things that could happen. Would you have the willpower to survive? Many movies have been the subject of this frightening situation. One of the most amazing portrayals of a lone soul struggling to survive was the Robert Zemeckis film Castaway, starring Tom Hanks. A much more lighthearted interpretation, however, came in the form of a classic television show. Gilligan's Island pitted a group of strangers on a deserted island, and they had to figure out how to come together to survive. It was a comedy, but in reality, the threat of losing everything in a storm is very real. Take Hurricane Dorian, for example. The gargantuan storm absolutely battered the Bahamas. Even with advanced warning when Mother Nature comes calling, it's time to buckle down and prep for the worst. The Bahamas were left in ruin after Hurricane Dorian finally passed. Houses were reduced to splintered wood and trees were uprooted everywhere. Before the decimation of the Bahamas, however, the storm ripped up much of America's east coast. There were many families who owned farms in southern states and nearly all of the animals were found dead or displaced to unknown locations. This group of farmers, however, made a startling discovery after the storm passed. As they were searching Cape Lookout National Seashore Park, surveying damage about a month after the storm, one of them saw the head of a cow poking out behind some trees. This was the first sign of life in the park. Suddenly, as they explored more over the next couple weeks, they discovered two more cows. The small group, as it turned out, originally lived on a private piece of land called Cedar Island off North Carolina. There were 20 cows total that disappeared off Cedar Island during the storm, and up until that point, the owner assumed they all died. Three, however, refused to let the force of the storm get the better of them. The brave bovines were forced to swim five miles from the farm on Cedar Island to the open fields of the Cape Lookout National Park, a feat most talented swimmers would find challenging. Once the three survivors finally reached the island, they fortunately were able to graze the land to survive. They embarked on a Gilligan's Island-like adventure until humans finally stumbled across their hideout. B.G. Horvat, a spokesperson for the Cape Lookout National Park, knew it was a tremendous story. He was equally blown away by the willpower to push through the terrifying experience. If the cows could talk, imagine a story they can tell you of enduring that water, Horvat said. How true that statement was. A Hollywood screenplay should be made about their journey. The cows weren't the only large group completely missing from Cedar Island after Dorian. There were also 28 wild horses who vanished initially. Miraculously, not all of them died either. They too managed to find their way to solid land after the blustery winds and sheets of intense rain soaked their home. The challenge now became how to get the animals back to Cedar Island easily. The National Park Service played around with several ideas and none of them were simple, but sedating each one and loading them onto a boat was likely the most efficient. Those cows spent three months alone on the island before their discovery. Funny enough, their energy seemed completely normal and calm. Maybe they preferred a free-roaming life without humans after all.